So I have a huge roll of this cotton rope that I bought and I can't even remember what I bought it for. Got some glue sticks and I have a couple of things from the Dollar Tree that, again, not quite sure what I bought this for, but it's taking up space. So I got these things and I've got to figure out what can I make with them? Well, I figured it out and that is what today's video is all about. It all just goes away and things are fair to say, oh baby. Hello, happy crafters. And today is another day in my 30 day crafting challenge. And basically I'm using stuff that I have in my craft room to repurpose and get rid of all of this extra stuff that I have in the craft room. And I think today I am going to make some rope faces. Yes, I've got plenty of this rope and I really like the look of a rope vase. They look really pretty. So I figured it would be a good idea to take these pieces that are basically just sitting on a shelf and make them into something I can use for my decorating. It's not really hard to do. You just need something that you want to turn into a vase and some rope. And a glue gun and a bunch of glue sticks would also be really helpful to have to make this project a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up my glue gun. And I have to say, I really like this glue gun. It heats up really fast, but I love that this doesn't have a cord and it's just a rechargeable glue gun. Just in case you're curious, this is the Bleds no drip rechargeable glue gun. And I will leave a link in the description box below in case you want to check this out for yourself. And my glue gun is already heating up. This thing is pretty cool. It does heat up rather quickly. And even though I'm not going to be using this end, I do want to keep it together so it doesn't get all frayed. And for this project, this is actually, I think it's a Voda holder. I don't even know what this is, but I got it at the Dollar Tree and I was using it for something else, but figured I really wanted one of these rope bases. So basically all I'm going to do is take this rope and secure it to this vase. Just wrap it around like that. So it is definitely going to be a rope vase. So now that you have the basic idea, I'm going to go ahead and make the vase.
Okay, there is my first vase. That's adorable. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? It totally looks like a rope face because it is a rope face. So now I have these really pretty flowers that I got on Timu of all places actually. So I'm going to cut these down so that they can fit into this vase and see what kind of a floral arrangement I can make with these flowers. Once I find my cutting tool, where is my cutting tool? Where is it? Aha, found my cutting tool. Okay, so how tall do I want these flowers to be? When you have a lot of crafting supplies, sometimes the hardest battle is actually finding everything that you have when you're getting ready to use it. So that can be a little bit frustrating. That's why I think it's a really good idea to minimize and downsize some of my own crafting supplies because I get a lot. And one way to make this happen is to just use a pool noodle that I can put inside of my vase. So I just cut down a piece of the pool noodle, tuck it in there. All right, so now I have this cute little vase that I made, but I don't really want to show off that pool noodle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some Spanish moss and cover that up. I think that's pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So there is one of the rope bases. <laughs> and I got a little bit of Spanish moss here. So I think I'm gonna use my little vacuum, desktop vacuum. And just like that, my workstation is clean again. So I don't have to go ahead and move everything in order to work on my next craft. Very handy to have. All right, I already made one rope base, and so now I think I'm gonna use this plastic Dollar Tree bowl and make another one. I'm wondering if I should start at the top and work my way down. I think that is what I am going to do.
my other little DIY rope vase. That was just kind of a last minute idea in addition and I really like how that turned out. So I think what I'm going to do is add some silk flowers to this to make it look like it's really like a vase because the inside is not finished and I'm not going to finish that. I'm gonna leave that how it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some fake flowers or silk flowers into my little rope base that I made. And this is the end result. Look at how pretty these are. I think they turned out great and I cannot wait to show you what I'm gonna make next. So be sure to subscribe and come back tomorrow for a brand new video.